Uh, this is Robert. Uh, I'm in Cluj Napoca in uh, Romania, and I'm here with Dan and Julia, who are the campaign directors for the 40 Days for Life campaign here in Romania. Um, first of all, Dan and Julia, tell us about some of the blessings from organizing a 40 Days for Life campaign here. Sure, Robert. I think the greatest blessing we've seen so far is the fact that uh, every single church uh, denomination is represented here in the street. Uh, I just chatted with a deacon from a Pentecostal church. It's the first time they came out with a lot of his people here. We had the uh, the Catholic bishop come out with the seminarians. We had tons of priests from the Catholic, uh, Pentecostal, Baptist pastors come out. We have Orthodox Christians in the background here, Catholics praying the rosary, uh, Pentecostals in the back. And I think to me this is the greatest miracle uh, just sitting in the street for so far 31 days and yeah. just really putting our theological differences aside and just really making a statement that life begins at conception and we all, all of us believe that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's the the main main miracle I would I would like to point out. Uh -huh. Julia, what what have you seen as some of the blessings that have been uh, as part of this movement? I uh, again uh, going along the same note. Um, I think it's really seeing the hearts, our our, our own hearts, being transformed as Christians. Uh, a lot of us think we're doing this for the rest of society, but in uh, Romania, in fact, I think it's Christians who first need to be uh, transformed to really recognize that this is a fight that belongs to us. We need to and we need to. Fight we can't be passive. Uh, we really haven't had a strong, visible pro-life movement until now, and this campaign has has uh, mobilized us, has opened a lot of eyes. A lot of Christians don't know what's going on in our city. They don't know that we have around 16 children aborted every day. Uh, they're not aware that we. You know, we don't have solutions, we don't have crisis pregnancy centers in our city. So there's so much to be done and I think us Christians are the first who should be taking on this responsibility because we're not only defending human life, we're defending souls. And um, wow. we want to, we, uh, we are just so happy to see that Christians are becoming aware of this problem, that they're starting to ask questions, what can we do, what should we do? So we really hope that these 40 days are just the beginning of an ongoing movement where uh, we will keep the unity in working to not only abort, abolish abortion but to truly build the culture of life. Yeah, I mean, fantastic.